guys welcome back in another video tutorial from the microbiology with chagnik so today we are going to discuss about differential centrifugation from this video we are going to start different of our discussion regarding different kind of centrifugation we have discussed about the basic centrifugation procedure and how the centrifugation works and all kind of mathematical derivation that is needed from the centrifugation unit earlier so from that differential centrifugation the overall that remains in the centrifugation topic is all about the various kind of differential centri uh, various kind of centrifugation technique so our first video from the various kind of different centrifugation technique is about differential centrifugation so the word difference means yes so that means here we are going to use something that is different for all of the particles that are present in the molecule that suspended in a liquid mixture right because centrifugation is what centrifugation is the separation of particles which are suspended in a liquid medium with the help of centrifugal force right because sedimentation of relatively smaller molecule is not possible only by gravitational force because of the presence of relative centrifugal relative thermal force by relative thermal motion we have discussed so centrifugal differential centrifugation means we can conclude that differential centrifugation uses differences in something to separate particles right so what we can conclude that differential centrifugation is a kind of preparative centrifugation right because different preparative centrifugation separate particles from a mixture of sample so here separation is going on so a differential centrifugation is kind of a preparential preparative centrifugation and it uses differences in sedimentation rate okay that means differential centrifugation procedure uses differences in sedimentation rate which actually is the differences in size and density okay that means uh, more or less we are air separating the molecules from the mixture according to their differences in size and shape okay so differential centrifugation procedure is commonly used in separation of subcellular component okay so from up to now we have discussed about the differential centrifugation is the separate centrifugation procedure which separate particles based on their differences in centrifugal sedimentation rate and sedimentation rate difference simply reflects the differences in size and density so what is going on first of all this is our initial sample mixture okay so in the first step we will centrifuge it at a very low centrifugal force but the force centrifugal force should be high enough to sediment the high heavier and the largest subcellular component present in the mixture or the largest compass of largest and heavier component present in the mixture okay that means at first our centrifugal force let me light it instead of cf okay so at first our centrifugal force is relatively low but this centrifugal force still have the capability to sediment the largest and heaviest particles present in the entire mixture okay then the supernatant that we will obtain we will simply decant it and sediment it again at a relatively higher centrifugal force that is our centrifugation force number 2 this centrifugal force is higher than the previous one so that it can sediment the next heavier particle present in the mixture so blue particles are separated then in the second centrifugation we are going to separate the red ones right so in that way the this entire procedure is repeated number of times to separate all of the particles on the basis of their differences in centrifugal the differences in sedimentation rate remember one thing that in each step the centrifugal force and the centrifugation time both will increase to sediment the next light 
that sediment the lighter molecules that is present or the next heavier molecule that is present in the sample okay so that is how the af after green one the red one is the heavier particle present in the sample so it is removed then we will centrifuge the supernatant again and it will sediment the relatively dark blue one and then we will centrifuge the re supernatant again to sediment the black one that is how entire centrifugation process is going on and here we are using the differences in centrifugal force centri differences in sedimentation rate that is why from the term difference the, it is this centrifugation procedure is called as differential centrifugation so differential centrifugation procedure separate particle based on differences in sedimentation rate which reflect differences in size and density the centrifugation procedure is used mainly for separation of substrate component mcq may come that which kind of centrifugation procedure will you choose to separate substrate component the answer in that case will be differential centrifugation or suppose they will they can also ask that there is a sample mixture with the word the components are differences in the, their size and shape and density size and density and so what kind of centrifugation procedure would you prefer to separate them so the answer will be differential centrifugation procedure so here the appropriate substrate component separation procedure is discussed is discussed so that is how the substrate uh, differential centrifugation procedure is used to separate substrate various component uh, substrate component present in a mixture okay with the help of their differences in sedimentation rate so that's it for today all about differential centrifugation procedure